I'm done. Today we paint this Creature Caster Resin Model Inferno and we'll paint it with Cuttlefish Colors. Cuttlefish Colors are manufactured by Cephalopod Studios and these paints are available at CreatureCaster.com We start by giving this model a good zenithal underpainting, a black and white underpainting. I'm using my Infinity Airbrush. Also, it's my first time to use Liquitex white ink and it worked like a charm. So watch as we turn this awesome model from Creature Caster and turn it into this. Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. This channel is supported by all these awesome brands. In this video, I'll share you portions of the painting of this model. But basically, this model is just a 5-hour painting that eventually ended up into a 7-hour painting. This was a study of how to paint flame and lava effects with cuttlefish colors. This is also the first time I'll be using the fluorescent paints by Cuttlefish Colors. And although I tested it and painted the fluoro paints over my glass palette in one of my live streams at Patreon, so I know that the paints, the fluoro paints, are very opaque and very matte when dry. This is my first time to actually use it on a model. My experience with painting with Vallejo fluorescent paints played a major role, super major role in the painting of this model because I was anticipating that the fluorescent paints from Cuttlefish Colors will have the same effect and will render as well or as bad as the Vallejo fluorescent paints. So I did a lot of underpainting as you can see in the video now and it was a bit too much in my opinion. But anyways, the tutorial version of this video, it's a 30 minute long tutorial video, is now up at Patreon. But with this one, I'm just showing you how the floral paints from Cuttlefish work like it work really well and I was so surprised and I really love the finished model. As you can see in the video here, I'm painting a lot. I mean a ton of underpainting, basically foundation colors for the fluorescent paints later. This is again based on my experience with Vallejo Floral Paints. Well, basically, this is not a rant about Vallejo Floral Paints, but Vallejo Fluorescent Paints are very, very emphasis on the word very, very thin. Don't get me wrong, I love the Mecca, the Mecca version of the fluorescent paints if you use it with the airbrush. But if you brush paint the Mecca fluorescent paints and especially the model color fluorescent paints except the green, all of those are very very thin and you need around 5, 6 or even 8 coats to get a full decent coverage. Also, it's very important to note that you need a nice underpainting or color foundation for the Vallejo fluorescent paints. So basically, you need like to paint emerald or even blue-green or something bright like library green before you paint like the fluorescent paints from Vallejo. Basically, they are just effects paints. They enhance like the very bright glow from a plasma gun or something like that, but they cannot stand alone. At the very least, you need like a white and light gray underpainting, but I do recommend you have a very bright colored underpainting so that the floral paints are just enhancements. Now I feel that my experience with brush painting Vallejo floral paints was kind of detrimental with the painting of the cuttlefish colors floral paints simply because 
The cuttlefish fluoropenes are very, very opaque. Instead of having to lay down like around 5 to 6 coats, you only need around 2 coats to get a nice, very nice coverage. So it's very, the coverage of cuttlefish fluoropenes are weird. They're, they're very opaque and they dry very, very matte. This could be an advantage if you want really quick results but i do recommend you add a bit of merlin's medium so that you have like a very nice smooth transition over your model now you see in the video a very quick comparison of the orange flow from model colors vallejo and then look at how bright the floral paints of cuttlefish which is insane insane super insane the coverage is really good however again it's very opaque and it's very matte you might want to add a bit of medium if you want to glaze it over a model so it's very different to use but i feel it doesn't need as much underpainting as vallejo floral paints however for the yellow floral named channel 6 it needs a bit more like it covers it gives you a full coverage with around three thin coats but if you want definition with the highlights and the details it's better to paint like tainted snow which is ice yellow in terms of vallejo or even white and then you glaze the channel six yellow floral on top of those detailing or detailed highlights So I was done with the painting of the model in around 5 hours but I decided to add more glazes with fluorescent paints and I spent another couple of hours to enhance the painting of the model. The floral paints work like a charm and it gave a really nice pop and saturation to my Inferno model. now it's time to thank all my awesome patrons my silver and bronze patrons and of course my gold level patrons without the support of these guys there will be no youtube channel seriously <laughs> and of course my platinum level patrons and the duo of marco colucci and matt adamo my palladium level patrons now it's time for the golden lemon reveal. I'm really happy with the result here, especially since I just spent around 7 hours to paint this model. This was a very good study as I became familiar with the really good yellow paints like sunflower yellow and of course sacrificial red. And also tainted snow is the ice yellow counterpart of cuttlefish colors and it was a really nice underpainting for the yellow fluorescent paint. The Chitpancit 